I had the pleasure of the visit of Shion Perez at home. I told him, Oud lo avdatik batenu. Our hope is still not disappeared. We will have a leader in Israel who will say, yes, people of Baraham and Ekret, go home. He said to me, Father Shakur, you left Baraham 62 years ago. Isn't it time to forget? I said, yes, Shimon. You left Palestine 2,000 years ago. And you come back and use our life to hell. When are you going to forget that this is your homeland? How to build bridges here? You know, if we look at the global picture, it is very pessimistic. A few weeks ago, we heard one of our top ministers saying he will make a transfer of the population to deport us again. He will not be able and will not agree. But he will be gone away from the government, I hope. It's very important that to build bridges, you should not go to the global picture, but we need to go to the local picture, to individuals, to individual groups. When I go home to any of my schools, and I find that we are very committed Christian schools. <coughs> and because of the seriousness of our faith, we cannot accept to stay alone. We need to invite our Muslim brothers and sisters, our Jewish brothers and sisters, come and join us, come and enjoy the facilities we have. And that's why in all our schools in Galilee, Minimum 60% of our students are Muslims. In the year 2000, it was a year of little bit calm and peace. I was able to convince Jewish families to send their children to us. And when the 82 Jewish children arrived to the school, I was frightened. I did not let them in. I was afraid. What will happen? Well, I brought four buses, loaded them with children, with the Jews dispersed in all the buses. I said, go to Mount Carmel and spend the whole day there in the open. When you come back, we will see what we have to do. At four o'clock, they came back. I tell you, I felt so strongly that they forgot that they were Muslims, Christians, or Jewish they discovered that they are only kids, human beings, and that's very beautiful. They exchanged telephones, they exchanged uh, internet emails, and up till now they do visit the, their families mutually. It is possible that Jews are not a people who dreams how to suck the blood of the Palestinians. Neither the Palestinians we do not need, we Jews and Palestinians, to learn how to live together. We need just to remember how we used to live together for centuries and centuries in Morocco, in Damascus, in Alexandria, in Beirut, and in Palestine. We need just to remember, and the 62 past years have to be put in parentheses. This does not characterize the Jewish dream, the Jewish conscience, nor the Palestinian dream to oppress the, the Jews or to kill them. And I end with two stories. With the first very big crime committed by a Jewish doctor, children doctor, who went to the Hebron Mosque and killed 20 Muslims, prostrating, adoring the God of Abraham, in the Makpella and where Abram is buried. He just killed them like that. The reaction was abominable. Those who survived rushed on him and cut him into pieces. And in that case, we have two crimes instead of one. But a few days later, the first suicider bomber 
appeared in Tel Aviv in the bus station and blowed himself up amidst a big crowd killing 16 citizens of Israel and wounding at least 86 other citizens. These were thrown on the beds of hospitals. The next day, the students' committee of my school came to see me. Abu, now what are you going to do now? I said, as we send letters of condolences to the Muslim families, we send letters of condolences to the Jewish families. And we can't do anything else. They said, are you becoming American? I said, what do you mean? This American are so compassionate when they are with disagree, they write a letter to the senator and they go to have a big meal in the restaurant. I said, what do you want me to do more than that? A Muslim student said, Father Shakur, I'm ready to donate my blood for the wounded Jews in Tel Aviv. And another Christian said, I would be ready too. So what do you expect from me, priest? To say, no, no, keep your blood to be corrupted when you die? I took the telephone, called the Rambam Hospital in Haifa. I have some students who want to donate blood for their brothers in Tel Aviv in the hospitals. I don't know why they took me seriously. The next day, two ambulances arrived to the school with 15 Jewish nurses. I really was scared that this would return to be something ridiculous. 10 or 20 students for 15 nurses, that's far too poor. But in fact, from 8.30 in the morning till 3.30 in the afternoon, they pumped our blood and stopped. Out of 350 students, 300 donated blood intentionally for the Jews who have been the victims of suicide bomber. I remember when I gave my blood, and that's my honor, to give my blood for any Jew, any Muslim, any born baby, to save him. That day in the Israeli TV, I said, today I have hope back again. Palestinian blood is flowing into Jewish blood, restoring life where life was meant to be suppressed. These are very small things that you would never see on your TV. We are Arabs, we are Palestinians. It does not fit to show something that positive about Palestinians. We did not do it to be on TV. We did it to console our Jewish brothers and sisters. We are a people who is able to forgive, to forget. But the question of dignity to the Jews is so important. But for us Palestinians, it's not less important. I saw Jewish ladies crying when their son was killed in the army or in one of the battles. Believe me, our wives do not cry less they are never consoled when they, their children is killed. And they never contemplate to go and kill another one from the other side. To make more widows in the Jewish side is not a solution to our problem. I end by saying that we Christians in the Galilee, my diocese, which is the largest Christian body in Israel, we count 80,000, very small community. We never believed in any kind of violence. We are looking for a kind of integration. Will it ever be possible for us to build up this country together with our Jewish brothers for all of us, or are we to be always second-class citizens. This is the problem. Thank you.